Hey boys and girls, hi. Um, last night I got the uh, chance to take this vehicle home last night. So I'd like you to look at it and tell me from the side, uh, side view here, uh, is this an ID4 or is this a Neutron? And I'll bet you, you can't tell the difference. And the reason for that is because um, they're basically the same car. Uh, so when you look at something like this, it, uh, and you're old like me, um, things happen. And what you remember back to is when General Motors got some very astounding advice from a consulting company. And what they wound up doing was they made a Chevrolet and then turned it into a Buick and then an Oldsmobile. And then they turned it into a Cadillac. And actually, quite a number of different car companies, the one that was probably the most prominent was Ford, where a guy asked for his Cadillac and the guy kept bringing back different cars at a, it was a valet kind of a scenario. And um, he never did get his Cadillac because all the cars kind of looked the same. This, is a, this was a disaster for General Motors and I thought everyone had learned about that. You just don't paint a car a different color or change the, uh, change the front end here to a different grill and think, ah, the, the customers are fooled. They're absolutely gonna be astounded with this. This is an ID4. It's got a better trim level. Um, uh, it rides pretty nice, but then the ID4 rode nice too. <laughs> but, and the build quality is good. It's a Volkswagen, it, it, it's a good build quality. But something is terribly wrong at Volkswagen. This is an ICE vehicle that just happens to have a battery pack. This has a lot of things that I just don't understand. This car, last night when we brought it home, infuriated my wife, and remember, she is an engineer and she's got a doctorate in engineering and two master's degrees. It infuriated her. Why is that? Because this car is not intuitively obvious. And if we swing around over here, I'll let you get over here. We swing around over here and I get in, I start to get this impression that there's, I don't know what is going wrong. So let's just turn this on. Um, and, um, and, and let's just look at a couple of things that, that I think, I, well, I'm not, I, I can't understand why. So one of the very first things I noticed is on the instrument panel, the accelerator is on the right. That's what's supposed to happen. Can you mute the music, please? Uh, okay, let me, let me do one thing first there. before we do that. Yeah, okay, I'll come back to the music thing. So anyway, um, we look at this and we say the uh, accelerator, or sorry, the uh, speedometer is on the right-hand side. And yet, when we look through the heads-up display, I don't know if you can catch this, that the speedometer now is on the left-hand side. Most people are right-eye dominant, and that's why that's where it is. But why did they do this and then switch it to that? I, I don't understand. These are human factor things that have been known for about a million years. Everybody knows about this. Sue is the controller of the radio. She tried to make it control it down here, and she had a real problem. So I kept turning it on and then I could raise the volume and whatnot. But she couldn't make it go because this thing here, she thought was push button, but in actuality, and I don't know if I can make it work, but you see, you have to turn this around. So what they wanted was a dial, but they didn't want to put a dial in. So they put this button in. <laughs> Why? And by the way, have a look at the button. Let me get rid of this. Have a look at the buttons. Have a look at how many buttons are on here. This is unbelievable. And then, and then you start looking at, holy doodle, look at all these different, what's going on here, kind of apps and whatnot. 
I couldn't figure out how to turn on the windshield wiper. I, I mean, I, I, I don't, everything in, in, the, in the cars I've got now, the electric cars that I've been driving, doesn't matter if it's a BMW or the Chevy Bolt, things come on automatically. What's with this thing? I, I don't quite get it. And then this, this amazing amount of, of stuff. I got, I, got a, I got a handle here, smart stick here, another one here. I got two paddles. I got another smart stick over there. I got buttons everywhere is on here. And I don't know where the heck it is. There's a little rotary thing. I, I, I mean, this is like a giant departure from what we've been seeing in what I would classify as modern electric vehicles. I don't, I don't understand it. And here's another thing I don't understand, and maybe somebody can help me out. I know what D is, that's drive. What's B? What, what is B? I've never seen B before. I don't know what that is. But I can tell you one thing for sure. There's a lot of things that happen in this vehicle or don't happen in this vehicle. And one of them, I have been driving with, with one pedal for quite some time. And again, it doesn't matter which car I'm going in. I know I flaunt other people's cars and whatnot. Uh, but I will tell you that no matter what car I've been in lately, electric vehicle, whether it's a uh, VinFast or, or like I say, a Chevy Bolt, a BMW. Um, and I'm not going to talk about the other two car companies that I talk about all the time. But you know what? Everybody, everybody's car, I can drive with one foot or one pedal. This one, you can't. This one, you have to, you have to step on the brake. And I, I just don't understand why it is that, 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 that Volkswagen is, why did they gave this to a group of ICE people and told them, give me a, an electric vehicle. They gave them an ICE vehicle with a battery. And so the conclusion I've come to now is that if you, um, if you want an ID4, but, but you want to pay a lot more money, buy the Audi. I, I, I don't know what's going on with VW, but they need to change like right now. They need, to, they need a giant upgrade. They need something that is, going to, is not going to look like this old fashioned car. Um, I, I'm not throwing rocks at Audi. I'm, I'm, I'm giving warnings uh, and, and Volkswagen in general. You, you got to come up with something a whole lot better than this if you're going to make it in the market in the next generation. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Sorry, but that's the way I see it. Um, thanks for watching Mineral Live.